Hi guys, it's Nancy, and we are going to be stamping out something with this Old Glory stamp from Blue Knight Rubber Stamps. I've already made a card. I made this kind of card a couple of times. It's just a really easy way. You know, we just passed Veterans Day, um, <clears throat> but it says, In memory of many, in honor of all. And so how I did that was I did the background in Pan Pastels with the Old Glory stamp. And then I stamped the image of the rifle in the boots and heat embossed that with some embossing powder. And then the sentiment came from God Bless America. So I wanted to take another take on this flag um, instead of just doing the traditional red, white, and blue and honor our officers. So my father was also in the military and then when he retired, he became um, a police officer. So let's make the blue line card okay so we're going to take our stamp we're going to take our misty we want to take the foam piece out of our misty and i have a piece of nina solar white classic crest here tuck that down in the corner i'm like that doesn't look right and then i realized what i did Try that again. All right. <laughs> I got the blue part wrong. I got the black part. I mean, blue part right. The, bl the black part is wrong. I do apologize for anybody that was yelling through the screen while they were watching me color. Nance, you're doing it wrong. I heard one of you. All right. Let's just heat set that again. Okay. We're going to try to speed color through this. Okay, so this line I know is blue. And for everybody who was coloring along with me and I messed you up, I'm so sorry. Let's see. Let me go in with a less dark gray. And then we can use the darker gray for an accent and see how we like it. Oh my gosh, that's not much lighter. This is N7. I mean N5. No, it's N7, and the other one was N9. That's better. It's supposed to be the thin blue line between the two black lines. There we go. All right, now let me finish coloring these and then we can go in with the darker gray and add a little bit of shadowing, hopefully. Very bad coloring. Sorry. Wasted eight minutes of everybody's time. Okay. 
Okay, so now we can go in with the N9. Okay, that looks a lot better. And then go in and smooth all of that out. Now we want to go back in and color around the stars. So I have that same N7 to start off with. I want to make sure I trace those stars pretty carefully. Don't want to lose them. me and not coloring. Okay. And obviously you get the idea. I'd go in and do all of this with the first color and then I'd go in with the and nine and all of the hash marks that are drawn drawn in by the artist I would go in and um, just color layer over those with the n9 and then go back in and do another layer of this n7 to smooth out all of my marker lines so they wouldn't show through as much but then it'll be a bright vibrant card showing the flag and not just in your traditional red, white, and blue to support our local officers. So let me know which one you like better. Do you like the traditional red, white, and blue? Or do you like the thin blue line? Post your comment down below. Again, you can pick up the stamps from Blue Night Rubber Stamps. Thanks for watching and keep on stamping. Bye-bye.